So now let us look at uh, 2022 20, paper 2 external, that is the question of statistics. It says uh, the table, sorry, the table below shows the table below shows the ages of 14 girls who participated in mathematics quiz at a jets fair. Okay? The table below shows the ages of 14 girls who participated in a mathematics uh, quiz. At a at a jet swati fair. So now this table it has uh, two rows. The first row it is showing uh, the age in in what in years. Okay, the age in years. So those who were twelve years they were two. Then those who were thirteen they were four. Those who were fourteen years they were two. And those who were fifteen they were four. And finally who were sixteen they were two. There were two. That's the interpretation. Okay. This frequency represents the number of what? The number of girls. Okay. Then we have age in years. So those who were twelve, there were two, two girls. Eighteen, there were fourteen girls. Fourteen, there were two girls. Fifteen, there were four girls, and sixteen, there were just two girls. Okay. Then the question is saying, I create uh, the mean age of the girls. They want us to find the mean age of the girls. So. As quickly as possible, we know mean is donated by, so mean is donated by x bar is equal to the summation of the frequency multiplied by the midpoint over the summation of the frequency. Okay? So we can move on and say, so in our case, this one is simple, very, very simple. I like the one which is uh, given whereby they give you the range to say maybe 1 to one to 5, maybe 5 to 10, 10 to 15, okay? Where for you to find the mean, you add 1 plus 5 divided by 2. For you to find the mean here, you add 5 plus 10 divided by 2. But for this one, this one is direct. This one is direct because we already have the mean. So where you have got x, you just put these figures. Whatever you have put x, you just put what? These figures. Then you have our frequency. So meaning this row represents uh, the midpoint, which is x, and then this row represents uh, the frequency, the frequency which is f. Okay? Are we together, people? Yes. yes. So now we can move on. So this one, the way we handle the one which consists of uh, ranges, for you to find, let's say, the midpoint, you add 1 plus. 5 divided by 2, then here 5 plus 10 divided by 2. It's different from this one. This one, people just go direct. Okay? So, what we have as the age in years represents uh, the x. Okay? Represents x. Then, what we have as a frequency, this is our f. Okay? This is f, 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 f. This is x, 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 x. I wait for other people. So, we can now substitute in that formula and move on. So, our first frequency is what? It's 20. So when you say 2 multiplied by our x, it's 12. Okay? Plus. Then our second frequency is what? It's 40. So it's 4 multiplied by 13. Very good. Plus. Then our third frequency is 20. So you just say 2 multiplied by what is our its corresponding x? 14. 14. Okay, plus our fourth frequency is 4. Yeah. So it's a 4 multiplied by its corresponding midpoint, what? 15. 15. Okay, plus the last frequency is what? It's 2. 2 multiplied by its corresponding frequency is what? 16. Are we together before? Then we're going to divide. We divide this. Uh, we're going to divide this by the total what? The total frequency. We're going to divide this by the total, the total frequency. So how to find the total frequency? You just add two plus four. So this four plus what? This two. Then plus four. Plus two, plus two. Okay, this is four. Take note. This is four. Okay, it's equal to. You get.
can now find the product of this, right? Then you add the product. So 2 times 2, we get 20. 24, is it? Plus, then here you just multiply, guys. Uh, 4 times 13, so it's like 4 times 3, you get 12, is it? Yes. Then 4 times 1 is 4, plus uh, 1 is what? 5, so 52. Yes. Plus, then uh, 14 times 2 is 28, right? Yes. 28. Uh, plus, this one I'm going to multiply, look at this one. Uh, 4, 4 times 5 is what? 20. So I'm saying this 15. And four. So four times five is twenty. So carry twenty. Four times one is four plus two get what? Sixty. So we have got sixty plus. Then we have got two times sixteen is eighty two. Eighty. Eighty two. Then over. Over the summation of the frequent. The frequency means the total frequency. Right? You just add the total frequency. So, 2 plus 4, 6. six. Very good. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus uh, 2, 12. 12 plus 2 gets 14. 14. Okay. okay. Move on. Since uh, we are finding what? The mean line. So, x bar. Then you can now add this. You can now add this line. So, let's add 24 plus 52. Okay, plus 28, plus 60, plus 80, 82. You can add this line. Yeah. So, <clears throat> 2 plus 8, it's 10, right? Yeah. 10 plus uh, 2, two. You get 12. 12 plus 4, you get 16. So, 6, carry 1. Are you together, people? Yeah. Then you can now add this and say um, 3 plus 6, it's what? Nine. Nine. Nine plus two, you get eleven, is it? Eleven plus uh, five, what do you get? Sixteen. Sixteen plus two? Eighteen. Eighteen plus uh, one? Nineteen. Very good. So we have one ninety. One ninety what? One ninety six. So one ninety six over fourteen. So you say it's five is equal to, we know that, uh, let me take you back to them, I was uh, teaching Pythagoras theorem, we know that uh, 14 times 14 is equal to 196, and that's why we say the square root of 196 is what? It's 14. So what it means is uh, 14 into 196 is what? It's 4. 14, that's the meaning 9. Because 14 times 14 is 196. So mean 14 into 196, you get what? You get 14. The square root of 196 is what? It's 14. So in this case, 14 into 196, you get what? You get 14. Okay? So 14 is 14 years, right? 14 years. That's the mean age.